Now that we have our A2300 lens assembly repaired and cleaned, we're going to reassemble it again. And it kind of has to go back in a certain order. So first of all, we're going to start by putting our front lens carrier into our secondary extender ring, which are these two pieces here. Um, this extender ring has indexing um, slots or guides in uh, every 120 degrees and they're symmetrical so that we can put this in in any any um, orientation we want to and that's about the only piece we can do that with so we just get that into its uh, indexing um, release grooves there and then we're going to take our um, indexing ring and put it into our primary extender ring and if you notice on here there's a little tab on this and this is a rub tab that prevents the cable from rubbing on the ring gear here the uh, aperture cable from rubbing on the ring gear so that has to go in a certain orientation here when we assemble this and this tab has to go near the clockwise edge of the ring gear so if you can find the slots here where this lines up when this is near the clockwise end of the ring gear and that's these little pins go into the grooves here we can insert that all the way down and keep this in the clockwise direction um, or counterclockwise direction hold that in that position now we're going to insert this group into into this indexing ring but first of all we're going to notice that um, there's a little arrow on here and it has to be um, this arrow has to line up with this tab here and so this um, rub tab on our indexing sleeve so we're going to put that in in this direction right here and push that down so it goes in okay now we can take our whole group and put it into our outer housing and this tab is going to fit over our aperture cable slot here so we want to get this in this right in this position like this now the indexing sleeve I mean the aperture sleeve has two little pins or two little nubs on it these are um, guide for the our aperture cable and that has to, those have to line up with this tab here and go right over the slot here so we're gonna insert that in in this position it's only going one way if you get these assembled in the wrong direction you're pretty much out of luck so now we're gonna rotate our aperture back over and just drop it down into our slot there okay now everything's kind of in place here and what I like to do is now push this down in order to get this index down and extend it out a little bit and then gently extend our our f lens assembly out by rotating the ring gear in a counterclockwise direction just far enough so that it'll lock everything in place no, we have to make sure we put this pin, this this um, cable, on this pin right here before we install our um, back plate. Now that we have everything back in place and our lens um, assembly together and uh, locked in place, we can install our pinion and our worm gear. Now the pinion has two different ends on it. One's a smaller rounded end pin and the other axle pin is uh, larger and got a flat end on it. So we want to make sure that we get the pinion in the right um, place here because if you have it in uh, upside down it the lens assembly won't go back together again so the smaller rounded pin goes into our back plate here and then our worm gear is going to go in 
its little slot here and make sure it's down in there. Now it's very careful and carefully rotate this over and I kind of like to hold this up in kind of this direction and that keeps a pinion down here while I um, get this uh, rotated over in place. And once I get it um, kind of lined up here, I'll go around and snap down all the tabs and make sure they're all indexed down all the way. And now our lens assembly is back together again and it's ready to go back in the camera and hopefully everything will work again.